Good evening, everybody, and thank you for staying up with us. I'm Jason Law in for Julie O'Neill tonight. The bus with 52 on board careened off Interstate 75 in Liberty Township just before 4 o'clock this morning. For all those people on the bus, it was a ride they will never forget. Not on your sides. Tom McKee starts us off tonight with what happened from the perspective of the passengers. Imagine being asleep on a Greyhound bus and waking up to find it off the road rolling over and over. That's what 51 passengers experienced early Saturday when driver Dwayne Garrett suddenly slumped over the wheel on I-75 near the Butler Regional Highway in Liberty Township. It was mayhem. People were screaming. It was just a real big panic. The bus left Cincinnati at 2.55 a.m., headed for Detroit, and crashed about 45 minutes later. Bus turned 360 degrees and then hit and then hit again and we stopped. There was no sound at first, just total darkness and everyone checking to see if they were okay. All I could think about was I hope that, you know, there's nothing leaking or nothing is on fire or I hope we can get everybody out safely. Passengers pitched in to help one another escape. This elderly woman, she couldn't get out, so I got on my hands and knees and I let her step on my back and I was pulling the kids out and put them on top of the bus. Fire and rescue crews responded from Butler, Warren, and Hamilton counties. As we arrived, uh, the, uh, the, the injured uh, and walking wounded were walking up the hill seeking attention. Life squads transported 28 people to six hospitals. Five others were airlifted to trauma facilities. Adrian Medical Center in Middletown received 12 patients. Their injuries range from minor to severe, everything from back, neck, and head trauma to more minor lacerations. Once the bus was back on its wheels, it was taken to Nick's Towing in Sharonville, where the Ohio State Highway Patrol began its investigation. Greyhound spokesperson Alexandra Padrini said federal inspections are done on each bus every 12,000 miles. So the last major inspection of this coach was done 14 days ago. So everything is up to date um, very recently. Looking at the wreckage, it's amazing that nobody was killed. Many of those not badly hurt boarded another Greyhound for Detroit around 1 o'clock. Understandably, some decided to seek other transportation. You appreciate life when stuff like this happens. You really do. Butler County emergency managers say they're pleased with the mutual aid response for this mass casualty incident, but will sit down in a few weeks to see if there's any improvements that can be made. Jason? Tom.